The operator of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has failed to confirm the whereabouts of 198 workers who are believed to have worked at the plant since the nuclear disaster started. What the fuck? Criticizing the operator's lax personnel management, the health ministry has instructed Tokyo Electric Power Company to identify the workers and have those workers checked for radiation exposure by next Friday. In a report submitted to the ministry on Wednesday, the company admits that it has failed so far to confirm the whereabouts of the 198 workers who are on the name list of workers at the plant between March and April. The company also reports that it has conducted radiation exposure tests on 8,338 workers, but still has to test more than 1,500 workers, including the 198. The utility had reported last Wednesday that the number of missing was 132. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency is also investigating the case because if it is proven that some of these workers were hired by the company without their identities being confirmed, it could constitute a violation of anti-terrorism legislation. What the fuck? You Japan's science ministry says air about 150 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi plant is as radioactive, excuse me, as radioactive as areas 50 kilometers from the source of radioactivity. The ministry on Wednesday released a map showing radiation levels at locations one meter above the ground in Miyagi Prefecture, north of Fukushima based on the results of an aerial survey from June 22nd through 30th. Radioactivity levels are highlighted in different colors. Parts of Kurihara City, about 150 kilometers north of the plant, are light blue, indicating 0.2 to 0.5 microsieverts per hour of radioactivity. That's similar to areas close to the danger damaged plant, such as Iwaki City in Fukushima Prefecture, about 50 kilometers from the radioactive source. Cesium quantities far above the government standard were detected in rice straw for cattle feed collected by a supplier in Kurihara City. It depends on the correlation between the accumulation of radioactive cesium and contamination levels of rice straw. We'd like to consult the agriculture ministry and local municipalities. Hiroshima University professor Masaharu Hoshi says if such data had been made available earlier, it could have prevented farmers from giving the tainted straw to cattle. No shit. The government says it will consider whether to lift evacuation orders in January after completing the second stage of its plan to bring the Fukushima nuclear crisis under control. In the second stage, the government aims to significantly reduce the volumes of radiation emitted from the plant. The minister for the nuclear crisis, Go Shihosono, said the government hopes to then lift evacuation orders for the 20-kilometer no-entry zone and the highly contaminated areas outside the zone. To speed up the process, the government will increase radiation monitoring and decontamination work in the two zones. It will also step up the decontamination of infrastructure by cleaning water and sewage systems and disposing of radioactive rubble. Japan's health ministry has called on local governments across the country to prioritize radioactive checks on beef over other food products. The ministry issued the instruction after finding that at least 1,200 beef cattle fed with cesium-contaminated rice straw were shipped nationwide. It says contaminated beef has been distributed to nearly all 47 prefectures across the country. Beef from farms in Fukushima Prefecture was also found to contain radioactive cesium in amounts higher than the government standard. The government suspended shipments of beef cattle from the prefecture on Tuesday. The health ministry is asking local governments to promptly check radioactivity levels in meat products because contaminated beef could be held at wholesalers or retailers. Meanwhile, radioactive rice straw used for cattle feed has been found in 10 prefectures. On Wednesday, inspectors detected seven times the government set level of radioactive cesium in straw used in Shizuoka Prefecture in central Japan. Most of the straw was shipped from companies in Miyagi Prefecture, north of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Consumers throughout Japan are reacting to their radioactive contamination of beef after the government suspended all beef shipments from Fukushima Prefecture. 
livestock farmers and distributors have demanded that the government take steps to dispel consumer fears. About 100 cattle farmers and meat distributors from across the country attended a briefing at the Agricultural Ministry on Wednesday. The move followed Tuesday's government's ban on beef shipments imposed after radioactive cesium levels exceeding government standards were detected in cattle shipped from Fukushima. At the briefing, distributors noted that the prices of beef from prefectures other than Fukushima are also falling sharply. They expressed concern that the consumers might start avoiding beef altogether. And the Agriculture Ministry official said the government would consider measures to convince consumers that domestic beef is safe. It's the oldest trick in the book. What book? The Distortion of Truth by Association book. Not all beef is contaminated. I find it disturbing that consumers mistakenly believe that all meat is affected. I want the government to step up inspection and ensure only safe meat reaches the market. Safety measures should be valid and transparent. Two of the 18 nuclear reactors now operating in Japan are due to be shut down shortly for regular inspections with no prospect of restarting. Kansai Electric Power Company says it plans to begin turning off the power of the number four reactor at its power plant in Takahama Fukui Prefecture on Thursday. The utility also plans to shut down another reactor at Oi Nuclear Plant in the same prefecture for regular checkups on Friday. But the Fukui Prefectural Government has decided not to approve the resumption of nuclear reactors there until the central government draws up new safety standards for reactors after the nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. In Japan, 18 of the country's 54 nuclear reactors are currently in operation. The European Union is asking member nations to draw up plans for disposing of spent nuclear fuel and other radioactive waste. It says those blueprints must be finalized by 2015. EU ministers agreed on Tuesday that the Union's 27 member states must outline specific procedures for building underground and other facilities for permanent disposal of nuclear waste. The plans are to be submitted to the European Commission, the EU's executive arm. The Commission will be able to demand reviews if necessary. Member nations will be required to make related information public and allow citizens to take part in the decision-making process. The safe disposal of nuclear waste is a pressing challenge for the world. Finland and other countries are building bunkers to bury the waste deep underground, but as yet, no such facilities are in operation. Engineers continue struggling with a decontamination system for radioactive water at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company admits the system is still working below target. TEPCO says the decontamination rate last week was just 53 percent, well below the target rate of 70 percent. That's the third straight week it has failed to meet the target. The utility blames water leaks. It also says the decontamination system's capacity to remove radioactive materials is 30 percent lower than originally planned. TEPCO says changing the piping has not improved the performance and that the cause of the latest problem is still unknown. What the fuck? You Since the crisis began in March, water used to cool reactors has become radioactive and is accumulating in the basements of the reactor buildings. TEPCO has operated a cyclical system since late last month, decontaminating the water and reusing it to cool down the reactors. The Japanese government has drawn up the guideline, or rather the outline, of its reconstruction plan for areas devastated by the March 11th disaster. The outline calls for setting up special reconstruction districts where deregulation will be promoted and fast-track procedures will be made available to utilize land. Easing tax burdens and providing financial support will also be considered. The outline also calls for building advanced solar energy and wind power generation systems to promote renewable energy businesses and creating eco-friendly towns in the disaster-hit areas. Regarding the nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant, the outline proposes a research institute to be set up to help decontamination activities in the prefecture with the cooperation of universities and companies. The government hopes to decide a basic policy based on the outline by the end of this month.
A top U.S. nuclear official says Japan has achieved substantial progress in its efforts to bring the Fukushima plant under control. All I know is this violates every canon of respectable broadcasting. Gregory Jansko, chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, spoke to NHK on Tuesday. There has been a lot of progress. Uh, getting to uh, the phase one completion of the roadmap is a significant milestone. Jasko said Japan still has important challenges to tackle. There are still significant challenges, uh, I think, ahead in uh, doing the decontamination, cleaning up the, the radioactive material. Those are all very, very important and significant activities that, that have to go forward. And, of course, continuing to ensure that the site uh, can uh, deal with the kinds of natural hazards that could occur uh, is a very important. Jasko added the U.S. team in Japan will continue to support the country in dealing with these and other issues. But he also suggested that less damage may have been done if Japan had been better prepared for external power outages. He cited the new rules on backup power introduced at nuclear plants in the U.S. after the September 11th terrorist attacks in 2001. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just think funny things.